so pretty, baby. Let's go out tonight. Tell your mama not to worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Don't let me hear you talking. Just be there when I call. Cause what I do, I do my way. I won't get done at all. A little girl. Better hear what I say. Yeah. I'm an easy going guy, but I always. I always had my way Nobody's gonna change me This or any other day Don't let me hear you argue When I say froggy jump Cause a woman ain't been born yet That can play me for a jump Whoa, little girl Better hear what I say Yeah I'm an easy going guy But I always gotta have by Eddie Cochran, written and recorded in 1959, uh, it was co-written with his manager Jerry Capehart. Uh, this was requested by one of our subscribers, Sam, uh, Daniel Luton, thank you for this request Sam. I'm going to break it down for you now folks, get your guitars, let's get rocking. Okay the introduction goes like this. <laughs> So we're just using it the C7 shape, we're sliding up to the 6th fret and we're just sliding into it and we're going to play the, uh, the D and the G strings predominantly. Then we're going to go down to the 4th uh, fret and up to the 5th fret. Then we're going to play a B7 bar shape. So let's just try that slowly. Okay, the verse goes like this. So that's just that old rock and roll shuffle. Open on the E, two on the A, twice. Four on the A and open on the E twice. Back down to two. And then we're going to play, so let's just do that slowly. So then we're going to do double stops, open on the B and the E, 3 and 3 on the B and the E, open, open, and then we're going to play 2 on the B and 2 on the G, and then ideally you want to get a 2 on the D. It's actually quite hard to play that D. Simultaneously with the two on the A, because I think what actually happened was a bit of overdubbing. So uh, let's try and work at that. You might be able to play the play them both at the same time, but it's a little bit difficult. So I just tend to do. If you 
you've got two guitarists, it's a lot easier, but if you're playing on your own, you just have to improvise a bit. Then it goes to the A chord. So we're just playing that same riff. Two on the D, opening the A. Four on the D. Two on the D. And then we're going to hammer on from three to four on the A. Back up to two on the D. And back down to E. We're going to go up to a B shape. And we're going to put our pinky on at the 11th fret on the A. Down to A, that's at the 5th fret, same shape. Let's just go through it. Well, it's a pretty baby. Let's go out tonight. Tell your mama not to worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Don't let me hear you talking. Just be there when I call. It's what I do, I do my way. Let's go up to C7. Or it won't be done at all. C7 at the 5th fret is an E7, of course. Oh, little girl. Better hear what I... That's on the E, back down to E. Say. And then we're just going to repeat that 3 to 4 riff on the bottom E string. To be an easy going guy, but I always gotta have my way. Back to E. And then the B on the tongue right. So that's the verse. Let's have a little look at the solo. Now that's the first part of the solo, let's just do that first. So we're playing 5 on the B, open on the E. Open on the B and E, back to 5 and then 3. So we're playing 2 on the G, bending it slightly. Open. Open two on the D. Then we're going to just do a chromatic walk up on the bottom E string. Open one, two, three, four. And then change this to the A chord. And on the record, there's a saxophone solo at this point, but obviously I don't have a saxophone. Maybe you have one. If you've got one, great. But uh, just this is just a little ad lib uh, over the saxophone bit. So all I'm doing there is just playing 12 and 12 on the B and G. Just bending a little bit. And then playing 14 on the D. And then bending 14 and 14 on the, the uh, B and G. Go back down to 12. 14, 12, 14 on the D. 12 and 12 on the B and G. Back down to 14 on the D. No rules, just play what you like, but that's just an idea for you folks. And then it comes back to Eddie Cochran on the guitar. So over the B chord he's playing, uh, uh, he's playing 8 on the G, 7 on the 
B, 9 on the B, 10 on the B, 7 on the B, 8 on the G, 7 on the B, 8 on the G. And just play that same riff again but down two frets. And then it just finishes off with double stops, open two, three. That's on the top two strings. Then playing that B bar shape for the turnaround. Okay, let's try it very, very slowly. Okay folks, that is the solo, you've got the whole song. I'll be back next week, I think we're going to do some Buddy Holly, uh, so look out for that. Please subscribe to these lessons if you enjoy them and if you find them helpful. Lots more rock and roll coming out every week, so uh, please keep tuning in. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.